Hello, this is Deborah Anderson, the Black Woman Animator, coming back to you with another video. And in this video, I'll be giving you a high level idea of a Black animation ecosystem, and it will be from a Black American perspective. It's about various ways to bring Black culture to animation experiences and how Black people can add to the animation industry. It's a combination of how to exist outside of the mainstream ecosystem and also how to get more Black people interested in animation as an audience. It's a strategy to think of things that the Black American community is already interested in and use those things as marketing to gain interest in animation. In Europe and Japan, animation is understood as more of a medium and not a genre. So in America, you have to convince a lot of people that animation is not just for kids, even as we have uh, content that is geared more towards adults today, we still have to convince them, a, a lot of people, that animation is for adults too. I'm not claiming that all of these ideas are original, it's just a matter of putting them all in one place for a specific purpose. Also, the information in this video is meant to be stolen, so if you like an idea in this video, feel free to use it. If you get inspired by anything I say and have other ideas, feel free to put them down in the comment section. Now let's get started. I've come up with various ecosystem categories that center around studios that specialize in TV, film, or video games. That can also be expanded to AR, VR, XR, MR, all the R's. The ecosystem categories are music, art, fashion, dance, food, entertainment, comic books and comic cons, fitness and sports, social media and theater, education, and community service. For music, you will be concentrating on the soundtrack that comes with your animated project. You can have parties and DJ battles where DJs come up with creative sets based on the soundtrack for the movie. You can also have freestyle battles with themes for the rappers related to the film. Another idea is to have regional tracks where you can have different areas of the country create their own versions of soundtrack songs pre-release. So for example, New Orleans has bounce music, New Jersey has club music, the MV has go-go music, there's Afro beats and many more different kinds of regional tracks that can be made. You can have video games and TV film projects with small or indie artist tracks. This is something that Issa Rae does with Insecure where she highlights people who are more locally known to LA and other places. Depending on your crowd, you can have shedding sessions with musicians. So for jazz, they have improvisation sessions where they can start with a song from your soundtrack and then improvise playing their instruments and then go back to playing your soundtrack. In gospel, they have church shedding where they can start off with a song from the soundtrack of your project and then they can do their gospel shredding thing and it could be an interesting creative session. There's also a concept known as a mic toss and that can be used with themes from a soundtrack. So if you think about Stevie Mackey and his Taco Tuesday, they have range, the singers movement, they have different mic tosses where they start with either a song, a lyric, a theme, and different singers add their own flavor to it and it's a really nice event. You can also have various soundtracks for the movie. For example, with Black Panther, they had the original soundtrack that went with the movie, but they also had the additional soundtrack that Kendrick Lamar did. You can have the original movie soundtrack, workout soundtrack, the parallel album with a popular famous artist or even a local indie artist and you can have even mixtapes for your animated project. Another element for music is authenticity. Sometimes when music is composed for animated projects, it's watered down and they make them either mainstream, poppy, or whitewashed. And they end up sounding like a kid's bop song. 
if you want to play with the authenticity of how music sounds hip-hop music should sound like hip-hop music rock music should sound like rock music kids can enjoy music without it being made to be kitty with art you can collaborate with different artists to make pieces related to the movies or you can create animated versions of the pieces to put in your animated project Issa Rae also does this with Insecure, where she'll have black artists work in the background of a scene, or she'll have a episode where there's a plethora of black artists at a market or art show, and that's another way for black artists to get publicity. For fashion, you can have fashion designers design clothing inspired by the movie and they can have licenses to sell gear related to the movie. You can also have character designers adapt the clothing for animated characters. You can also have jewelry makers create exclusive pieces inspired by the film. When we think about fashion, we don't have to be pigeonholed to t-shirt companies and backpack companies. We can have fashion designers create stylized pieces that are inspired by your movie. For dance, you can have dancers from Instagram and TikTok or choreographers from YouTube and Instagram come up with dances or choreography for your animated project. And that can include creating a, a possibly viral dance challenge. And people will wonder what was the catalyst for the dance challenge and possibly learn about your animated project. For food, you can have YouTube chefs create dishes inspired by the movie with recipes and cooking videos on their channel. You can also create and provide recipes for each animated project. If you think about Princess and the Frog, they have an already made culture they can choose from with New Orleans and Creole cuisine. So if your project was set in New Orleans, you can have recipes such as gumbo, jambalaya, beignets, etouffee, and more. Also, when you think about ratatouille, a very easy dish to associate with ratatouille is ratatouille. Even if your animated project is not centered around food, you can still use the location where your animated project is set or any other creative agency and providing recipes that can accompany your project. For entertainment, which both consists of short-term and long-term goals after you garner an audience and capital. You can have botanical garden where characters are made up of plants, trees, and flowers. You can create a pop-up AR slash VR museum or an event to take the experience from the movie to another level. So you can be in the movie world, you can have games, you can have trivia and prizes. A really big project would be to have an amusement park based on all your properties. You can have a festival that highlights multiple aspects of black culture connected to animation. Maybe even having yearly festivals that combine all of these categories for the animated projects that were released in the past year. There's also themed escape rooms and haunted houses. For comic books and comic cons, you can mimic what anime, Marvel, and DC do by creating animated projects from comic books and manga. You can also have events where you not only encourage cosplayers to dress as the popular characters, but also dress as the characters from independent black animated projects. For fitness and sports, you can have popular workout personalities create workout versions of the soundtrack songs and or create workout routines for the soundtrack of your animated project. You can also have sports games where it's celebrities versus the studio. So you can have animation professionals from your studio competing against whether it be A-list celebrities or social media influencers, and you can play animated shorts during timeouts and at halftime to garner interest in independent black animated projects. For social media and theater, you can have Instagram comedians create skits to promote your film. 
and specifically for theater if you've seen the tv show harlem a character was in a production of get out the musical which i would be more than willing to see in real life but if you can later on down the road have someone adapt your animated project into a play then that can be an interesting way to market your project for education you can teach classes on how to draw or animate characters from your animated projects. You can also team up with local arts organizations to help host these classes. For community service, you can have a component where you're giving back. The organization or event could be related to something in the movie. So for example, if you have a character that grew up in the foster care system, you can have a complimentary event where you collect suitcases for kids in the foster care system or a fundraiser where you're raising money to give to various organizations that take care of foster children. You can also use your platform for advocacy such as nonpartisan voter education where you're teaching people about the specifics of various candidates in their area. You can also promote the census that comes around every 10 years and educate people about the importance of the funding that's attached to the census. You can also have functions that center around current events. So more events that can be curated to garner attention from an adult audience are paint and sips, brunches, discussions, and cabarets. This is my idea of having a black animation ecosystem. It's not only to increase the amount of black animation projects, but also to team up with black owned businesses to make it lucrative for everyone. That includes having your film shown at a black owned theater or having the food at your event provided by a black caterer or black owned restaurant. This is a way to support our community and also exist outside of the mainstream ecosystem. So that means existing in places like Columbus, Ohio, New Orleans, Louisiana, Miami, Florida, and having it be able to be replicated in multiple cities. This can hopefully increase the numbers of the black animation audience because again, animation is a medium, not a genre. If you have an idea about how to add to that black animation ecosystem idea or just want to have a conversation in the comments, feel free to leave a comment below or just tell me what you think about this idea. And I want you to like so I know it's real, comment and tell me how you feel, subscribe to Seal the Deal, and sign up for post notifications to show your zeal. Now, see you in the next video. Peace.